elegant woman must haves hi my beautifuls welcome back to my channel i missed you so much it's been a while that i was filming in my room living room and i cannot wait to start this series of the year with you and of course an important topic to have to revisit is elegant lady must haves and you know i was very viral back in the days as one of the very first pioneers that started about the topic of how to always look good and how to look expensive on a budget. These videos reached million views and that just feels like long time ago and it actually requires and calls for an updated version where I share with you the must-haves to become an elegant lady in 2024. So if that's your cup of tea, stay with me till the end. As a start, don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, disliked it if you don't, turn on notification bell. Let's bring it back on this year. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok and follow my podcast. I haven't posted a new episode in a while, but by the time you have this video, my new episode will be out. So make sure to check that out because that actually links to uh, my new topic. This year I'm planning on TikTok to always share the things I am buying day to day. I felt that that's a very good way that you can follow up what I am selecting for products, what I am thinking of having as a new product that might be then um, your cup of tea. So if you're into that, stay tuned and check it out. Let's start with the very first and most important thing what an elegant lady has that a regular lady that doesn't necessarily care about elegance wouldn't is a quality bag. And before you jump at me, quality bag doesn't mean branded bag. Actually, that's completely the opposite of what an elegant lady looks for. What an elegant lady looks for is good materials, good cut, perfect stitching, a model that is timeless and classy. And those things are in a various categories of prices, but they need a trained eye. So if you want to be an elegant lady, you'll ask me, okay, what quality bag do you think it is? For me, good companies that create good quality products are Coach, are Polen, I hope I'm pronouncing them correctly. If you go to Italy, you go to a uh, no brands at all and shop for leather bags or even my favorite way is secondhand and secondhand is such a place that people misregard and look at it with a side eye i've done two videos before about refurbishing older uh, bags and shoes that i found and actually leather lives so even if you do not stand with the ethical from an ethical perspective towards leather goods me too and that's why i buy leather goods only secondhand to prolong the life of something that was already causing trouble if, if you know what i mean into the environment that's a very long topic but there is a girl i i, I checked on tiktok she finds coach bags like very old models and she refurbished them with color with leather lotion it's such a beautiful thing so quality bags really don't have to cost a lot of money. In general, uh, the Coach Tabby bag is around 300 euros. Um, you can find it in an outlet with different colors. And by the way, in the past years, color wasn't so much favored and people were always recommending basic palettes, color palettes. But I believe that a pop of color in your bag and shoes is more than adequate for a place to add fun to your outfit and look fashionable. If all your clothes are neutrals and you have a pop of color of a bag, that's such a special thing. And actually it makes the bag quality pop because low quality leather usually shows if the color is uh, not one of the neutral ones. So this is also another thing. And I mentioned in a previous video before the guy that I'm following that debunks all the expensive bag manufacturers. He's a very good reference if you want to buy a bag uh, from a certain brand to check if that brand actually takes care of the bags and they have good quality. Oh, and by the way, Longchamp. 
people do not notice that Longchamp is not only the Le Pliage line. Even Le Pliage, now they have it in leather, uh, but they are such beautiful, good quality bags. They, they go, you will find them beaten up online a lot on TikTok because it's an everyday ride on di or die bag. It's the bag you buy and, and go into the woods with and it's a perfect bag. One I am eyeing now is the leather one in this gorgeous burgundy color or red wine color. I love it. It's leather. It's open from the top. It has still the signature of Le Pléage, but also check the other lines that Longchamp has. Another one from Pollen I want to buy. It's this strangely shaped one. Also their tote bag for work is something I'm considering as well. Uh, the tabby bag have been on my radar for a very long time. I want to buy it. So good quality bags. Another one I'm eyeing for a while now, but this is a little bit more past the threshold of a thousand euros, uh, is the Saint Laurent Kate. It's a reversible bag. It's a little bit slouchy, so a little bit casual, and I'm missing casual bags from my collection. And the beautiful thing is you pay once and it's two, two colors, uh, camel, beautiful suede side and crocodile side with black. And the Saint Laurent logo is placed in both. And the chain is actually very interesting. You can wear it with the chain, without the chain. You can replace the chain. You can double it. It's a very versatile bag. And I love that when you buy something, put your money in something that is worth that, that is going to be uh, uh, changing with you throughout the years in throughout different styles. You can utilize it and, and wear it many, many different ways. Another one I also saw on TikTok recently and I'm eyeing can also be wear, worn in very different ways. I'm going to place the TikTok video and the brand name because I forgot it, but quality bags, you guys. Look now for quality bags in order to become this elegant lady. My next point is natural nails. Let me tell you something. I have heard it from almost 90% of the men I met in my life. That means colleagues at work, different jobs, university, school, my brother's friends, my cousin's friends, my cousins. I've never met somebody and also a lot of ladies that said, wow, I saw this lady and her long blingy blingy nails looked amazing. Actually, I had a friend that had a crush on a girl and when he was describing her to us, one of the things he said, her hands are beautiful and her nails are natural. And then I asked him, what do you mean? And he told me like every other girl today has those gel manicures. You don't even see the color of their natural nail. But he appreciated her short natural nails. I, actually, I got an infection recently, although I was doing Russian manicures. And please, if you're gonna do your nails, do Russian manicures and not like regular. Don't do very long, unrealistic nails. You can put color on your nails, feminine colors. Uh, more uh, plum color, red color, burgundies, uh, browns, neutrals. Don't go and put blue and green. This looks unhealthy for some reason. It's also psychologically, you know. Uh, if your uh, nails, which are naturally pinkish tone, look still pink, it looks healthy. So. As you see, I have no nail polish on and I, as I said, got a fungal infection in my fingers and had to remove all the polish and I am trying to um, regrow my natural nails and use regular polish. It's not worth it. And natural nails are an attribute of elegance. I've never went to a gala or an event or even saw uh, uh, elegant celebrities or royals having uh, strange nails. Uh, so in general, I understand pop culture, uh, watching Nicki Minaj and people doing this. It's, I've, I've also heard it a lot, long nails. How do you go to the bathroom? How do you type? You, you hear that from people. It's just an attention grabber and an elegant lady does not attract attention in that way. You know what I mean? So if you want to become an elegant lady, Embrace your natural nails, 
make them look healthy and beautiful and healthy is elegant always the next has been for years a classic piece a lot of people uh, glorify heels however the companion of elegant ladies throughout the years has been ballet flats yes ballerinas ballet flats are those intricate shoes that are much more comfortable than a heel and so versatile you can wear them on skirts dresses i've made a video also not long ago about shoes and shoe etiquette in general you can watch that as a reference but the ballet flats they almost fit everything they fit skirts they fit pants whenever i think of ballet flats immediately grace kelly and audrey hepburn come to mind is such a feminine touch and elegant and my favorites are the vivia ones i'm traveling all the time with them because they're super comfortable but sleek in design and i've shared that in multiple videos before uh, but also chanel ballet flats they are beautiful the lamp skin lives and it gets soft and it's beautiful coach is also one of the brands that makes really really beautiful loafers and ballet flats you can check that it's also in a price range that is good but real leather ballet flats by the way if you also check h&m premium collection they would have real leather items too and that is also so much appreciated for me but ballet flats also is a must-have for elegant ladies elegant accessories invest ladies invest in your accessories you don't have to have those great drawers with 10,000 jewelry pieces intricate pieces of jewelry have one classic watch I've talked about that so many times I'm going to make soon a, a, a watches video but my favorite entry level watch as a jewelry piece is the Seiko uh, seven jewels it's it's my favorite the other one is the Orient Bambino they're both mechanical watches we're going to talk about that in another, pre in another video, but this is part of your accessories. Brooches. Oh my God. Go to thrift shops and you'll find magnificent brooches. You can find amazing accessories that elevate your look. The shoe clips that I showed, Elegant Lady is smart. She doesn't have big closets usually, but intricate pieces. Jewelry. Of course, you don't have to wear like me a Tiffany set. This is very expensive, but still, concept behind this is that it's gold. It's going to live, it's going to keep its value, which is exactly quality pieces in accessories that will elevate any look. If also accessories, belts, leather belts. I love uh, the one that I always, I've also shared that in my want to buy if, if, on TikTok and other stories makes beautiful leather belt it was featured previously in the james bond movie no time to die um, and i bought it since the brown one i loved it so much i recently bought the black one love it longchamp also have this beautiful with this interesting buckle it's it's not that expensive and it's real leather have like those belts you don't have to have the kelly or the even the kelly and uh, dupe i don't like that by the real thing or not so the longchamp one is very good and the and other stories are very good massimo duty also has a very delicate one those are the ones that i eyed and they are very reasonably priced quality accessories you guys will set you apart a friend of mine we talked before back in the days and we said a girl who has a killer body and good hair will rock even a trash bag <laughs> i know that sounds a little bit too much but i've never met an elegant lady that didn't have her hair perfectly done done does not mean it's straight elegant ladies even from other ethnicities have their hair done properly so if let's say you know our beautiful Indian ladies with the long hair braids. Some of them, they will come. The braid is perfectly done. And some, it's just like a quick run through the braid. Elegant ladies, 
take the extra mile. If you are a black lady, you you see some of the ladies take the baby hairs and sweep them properly, do the pineapple updo, do the curls perfectly, do them perfectly. Or even if you are rocking an afro, they rock an afro that looks done on purpose. This is what I mean by having perfect hair. Of course, perfect body. I don't mean the shape because the uh, pop culture recently tries to tell you the shape is it. But no, I don't mean it in the shape. You could be any shape. If you're healthy, fit, fat percentage, muscle percentage is proper, you're going to look amazing. So have a hair killer hair routine. Go to someone to analyze your face and give you a haircut for your face that is effortless without doing your hair. If you're not big on blow drying, I'm not big on blow drying, but that's why my natural, this is my natural hair. I've done nothing to it, but always the front looks messy. So I sleek it. I sleek the front like this and then the back and then I look clean and put together. If you can do a blowout every night, my grandmother, every night she sleeps with a, a roller only for her front uh, pieces. Her hair is short, but she likes the front pieces to be properly. So find your soft spot that is effortless, but have a perfect hair routine for your hair type, for your ethnicity, and you will be definitely elegant. Last but not least, my favorite topic, quality clothing. And I talk to everyone I know about that. Really look at the tags. Now brands nowadays don't have good quality. But if I'm going to give you a cheat sheet, good quality materials are expensive for a reason, but you can find them on a budget. My favorite places that I, you know, I stopped looking at the labels because they're good quality <laughs> are Cos and other stories and Uniqlo. Check them out. They're my favorite places to shop. And of course, secondhand thrift shop. Best place to get leather, as I said, leather jackets, uh, leather pants, leather skirts. These are in, in fashion now, but really thrift those. Fur, I am into fur so much. You have no idea. When you live in a cold climate, fur is really one of the only options. <laughs> Uh, but as I told you earlier, I had hand downs from my family and I buy secondhand stuff from the 50s and 60s. Those are amazing, good condition and they lived that long and they keep you warm. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what you think. Maybe you have some more things that you think will make an elegant lady elegant. And I will definitely see you in my next video. Have a happy life, booze. See you. Bye.